Science is not, and science and patent and lawyers are all not, not one of those uptight people with like, you know, thick glasses and sitting with the... Uh, uh, in Chennai, there's one place called Kalakshetra. I don't know if you guys know. So it's very well known for Bharatanatyam. I wanted to run away there. I dance when I'm cooking. One of the things that I find very disheartening is kids are not allowed to fail now. So failure is the first step for learning. It's no end to that kind of pressures. It is your journey. Nobody has a right to say anything about that. A scientist, a lawyer, an entrepreneur, a dancer and a mother. On the occasion of the International Day for Women and Girls in Science, I am thrilled to introduce to you Dr. Sujata Maringanti. Besides donning all these feathers in her hat, she has her own patenting firm and an organization called Acha, which is Art Can Happen Anywhere. And they seek to promote appreciation for the fine arts. So ma'am, thank you so much for giving us your time. And I would love to know what decisions brought you here in life. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually, first of all, I, I'm loving the faces that I see around me. To start with, um, you know, I, I, I did science, yes. Everybody asked me this question, how did you do all of this and manage? It's not that difficult. Um, as you go along, you will make decisions. As you go along, you make choices. The very basic thing is to hear yourself, to hear your heart and know what exactly you want to do. There are times at which you cannot do what you want to do right then and there. That doesn't mean it's the end of it. Life is full of choices and opportunities. And I think I was doing just that. I wanted to do um, dance. There was a time uh, in Chennai, there's one place called Kalakshetra. I don't know if you guys know. So it's very well known for Bharatanatyam. I wanted to run away there pretty much. And I wanted to stay there and uh, learn dance. But my father was, uh, he is a physics uh, professor. He used to tell me stories in physics. He never taught me physics like physics. He would talk about how stars are there and connect that to molecular level, right? There's a storytelling there. So I got into that and I thought science is interesting. So it's day-to-day -day thing. You can see that in everything that we do. So I went ahead and did my science. When I started working in, I was in a place called CCMB, Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology. It's one of the central places. There's a pharmaceutical company here, which asked me to come and work with them and work and figure out how patent uh, system works. So that requires science as well as law. So this is what I mean by connecting two or three things. When I started working in the pharma company, somebody told me that, you know, uh, you should start working on this, in this area, patent area. So I worked and learned on my, as a scientist, I went there and I worked with the, whatever they were trying to do and figured out how to work in patent area. Then I had my daughter. Who, and when she was there, I wanted to stay home. So with her, by the time she was three, I decided I'm going to have my law degree because that will help me further in understanding the system. So you see that dot to dot to dot to dot, you can see the connection, how sub certain decisions will be taken because the circumstances will uh, push you to, to take those decisions. But I never left science. I went ahead and did my law and all along I danced. So people can stick with uh, dance and science and law, and it's very much possible that all of you can do that too. So it's nothing abnormal here, <laughs> so. All right, so now if you have any questions, we can proceed to ask them. What kind of student you were in your school? I was a very ordinary student. <laughs> yes, I scored well, I did well, but my that's one of the differences that I see from your generation and my generation was like I saying that not too much coaching was there for us. We were not pushed from morning six to night 10. 
it wasn't the case for us we would go to school yes and uh, often times um, we don't do homework uh, so um and get yelled at by teachers and that's part and parcel of uh, thing and then before exams we cram and we study i scored well i did okay i wasn't otherwise i wouldn't have gone where i have gone but it wasn't like uh, a brilliance coming through and everything was it's it's not necessary also you know you can make sense out of life and enjoy and be a brat too you <laughs> can so the reason why i started acha art can happen anywhere is because of kids and children like you i like to see those eyes looking at me with so much of curiosity and and when i'm talking and connecting to me because i'm talking what they are thinking uh, so that is how i started working with uh, school children for 15 days i work with children we talk about various things and then we pick a story and you can come up with your own ideas how to develop the story and then we'll have a performance at the end of it one of the things that i find very disheartening is kids are not allowed to fail now in anything it's not an option how can that be how can failure not be an option like a child when they are learning to walk they take two steps they fall down on their butt they get up and they walk if they don't do that there's no process there's no learning in the age of adolescence everybody feels shy so what do you want uh, what do you suggest to prevent those things that's a part and parcel of being there so you if i say oh leave shyness and come out of it would you doesn't happen that way it's a process that you slowly get out of it there are exercises there are vocal uh, practices uh, some people are uh, worried about uh, cameras some people are worried about how their voices come out when they talk all of this um, when we start working in teams each other partnering and and working with each other um, i improvise certain things stand in front of the mirror and think that you are talking to somebody and talk and one other thing that i suggest to people is record your voice one of the best i mean it's, it's easy now record your voice and listen to it you will know what so think about some uh, topic that you just want to chat with somebody or talk to somebody talk for about minute or two minutes and then go back and listen to it to see whether you are putting all your thoughts into that whether you are putting it in a comprehensive manner or whether you are actually understandable or whether you are mumbling or whether you are actually dragging it all of these things you can analyze on your own you nobody is going to be a judge and tell you you did this wrong that this right and things like that so when you look at yourself and analyze it you get your confidence to talk so the shyness just you have pretty smile so look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you have a beautiful smile so that's how you get your confidence i would like to ask you a question how did covid life and covid time change your lifestyle i think it was pretty much uh the same as i was working from home as it is i was not really going out so my i my work is pretty much from home because i work from uh right now things have become online but i have been online for a while now so work wise uh, not much changed uh if i would say actually uh, covid got in some good things into my life because people um, i could i got to see my family much more than what i want i would otherwise uh, we could spend more time together one other thing that i i i would like to learn a lot of things uh, even even now i take classes uh, there's no end to learning so covid actually made it very much possible some of the things that i wanted to learn uh, like for example i like love embroidery uh, there are a lot of courses that are there in on uh, embroidery that you can access now than than you were before right so that's actually changed the learning itself not just for me 
for everybody i think it has given a much more opportunity to learn uh, what you wanted to learn uh, all the time uh, but you didn't have time to do and i think that's a very positive thing and i i really enjoy that so whether it is online dancing online uh, singing online embroidery you can do that a lot so i think that's a good one positive thing about covid is research is important because that gives you connections to understanding of it in a deeper level unless you unless you research covid happened right if we didn't do research we wouldn't have come up with vaccine research is nothing but you are putting together certain pieces of data and trying to make sense out of it okay if this happened okay this this coronavirus for example how did the vaccine come up because we know how vaccines work and we know that you know there is a coat protein or the protein on that and so you try to make antibodies uh, or or that develop something so that your body human body makes antibodies against it uh, or you attenuate basically you you make it in such a way that it is not uh, going to be uh, virulent or it cannot be infectious and then you inject that into your body so these are different ways of creating vaccines so unless we had that kind of research do you think we would have had a vaccine coming up no research is not just in science as science labs anything that we do in life even cooking for example if you are cooking and if your recipe didn't come out well what do you do you figure out what is wrong what did you put you probably put hing a lot or you probably put dhania a lot or whatever what what are you doing there you are trying to understand what are the steps that were done and what went wrong and wha- what can make it better that is understanding and research right so basically so in any field you need to be uh, continuously thinking about what what is that happened and what is the next step so it's important for anything that we do same thing that i said about keeping your eyes on your goal and and yes it is going to be there it's, it's, it's the same thing as how we deal with marks same way relatives are going to be annoying they're going to be there <laughs> they will ask you what next they will ask you all kinds of annoying questions uh, it's no no end to that kind of uh, pressures uh, just squeeze yourself out of it you trust yourself trust in what you want to do you are there will be a voice always telling you what you are interested in that if that is never going to everybody will have that voice listen to that voice and work towards that it is your journey nobody has a right to say anything about that so you choose your journey but then put in your discipline and hard work into it and you will go wherever you want to go so that is all along we have been the whole theme has been that that we have been talking about right so yeah. who was your inspiration or role model for doing all this multi character work <laughs> it's, it's 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 for you it's yourself that is what i've been trying to tell you the message is it's inside you not externally nobody is going yeah there will be influences somebody will influence science my father influenced me a dance i always liked my mother taught me some music so i always loved uh, certain kinds of music and things like that so i picked up uh, from various people various influences and uh, like i said when i when i look at you guys and the way you curiously look and ask questions that is such an inspiration for me because you are curious about knowing something that is why i said leave the coaching and ask me questions which are coming from inside that is what that is what uh, i want so yeah various various kinds of influences you will have but inspirations usually come from our own side we have to work on our, our own things okay <laughs> thank you all for your questions um i think we'll wrap this up now 
and uh, if they please they can always ask you questions after we're done yes um so ma'am thank you so much for your patience um today we have not only learned that scientists don't have problems that are different from us but also that learning is a continuous process and our most important takeaway is that science is for everyone and it is achievable so thank you so much once again thank you